Oh, this is it on the place. Pokemon X. We are in the Terminus Cave because we have successfully captured the mighty Mewtwo. Just to be sure of it, I'm gonna go to the Pokedex and I'm gonna show you. You see there, number 150, Mewtwo. We captured him in the last episode, and not only did we capture him in the last episode, but we also got ourselves a cool Mewtwo Knight X. Now, Mewtwo Knight X is one of the two Mega Stones for Mewtwo. You have Mewtwo Knight X for Pokemon X and Mewtwo Knight Y for Pokemon Y. Now, I did say something wrong last time about Mewtwo X. I said something about that Mewtwo Knight X uh, gave him more Psychic type, but that's the wrong part. Mewtwo Knight X is indeed making him a Psychic Fighting type. For Mewtwo Knight Y, you'll make him a even more powerful uh, special attacker, making his special attack go even higher. Which makes him even more awesome if you like using Psychic. But I think it's cool with Aura Sweat and everything like that as well. So, if you want to make Mewtwo more physical attacker as well, then Mewtwo Knight X will make you very, very powerful. Alright. Now we're going to focus on this episode, which is about to go to depths of this cave. We're going to find the legendary Pokemon waiting at the bottom. First, some Pokemon Bells, of course. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! I dropped my book while I was running across, you see. It was the underbridge version! Ho ho! Wow. Uh, yeah, no comment about that one. Hiker Aaron with one Pokemon will be Rhydon. Rhydon Ground Rock, dual type from Generation 1. And it does have evolution now in Generation 4, becoming Repairier, making it actually a very durable tank. But it still has a lucky weakness into water, and it has 4 targets. And like its uh, Graveler Golem family clan, it doesn't have sturdy, so it will go down in a single hit from a surf. And that hiker goes down very quickly. Ho ho ho, I never hold a grudge, it's all water under the bridge. Uh, yeah, uh, what about that? Um, let's see. Let's go down here. Oh, another flying thing coming down from the ceiling. It's gonna be another Ariados. Ariados, the bug poison type from generation 2. Remember that he can still appear from the ceiling, even with repel on, so don't be scared that the repel doesn't help you here. It does. It just doesn't work this way. Jump on the ledges for another hiker. Or maybe not, he doesn't want to fight, I guess. Jump on these ledges as well, maybe. Uh, did we miss an item here, I think? I think we did. Oh well, we can always go up here again. The hiker doesn't want to fight anymore. Another repel, for sure. Ah, here we go. An escape rope. You always know it's the hive because you can use it here in this terminus cave as well. If you get lost or you just have your Pokemon almost getting KO'd or you're scared. Nice to have. You see that hiker on top of the bridge? He's running back and forth like that for the last couple of days. Connection error. I lost my internet connection. Sorry about that. I don't know what's happening. My internet connection should be fine. Anyways, here we go with Hiker Bergen with Bulldor. Bulldor. Mighty Pokemon. Generation 5. He's a pure rock type. No ground one for this one. Which doesn't really matter for me. To surf on Bulldor. KO, but if you have the sturdy, will survive. Stealth Rock, Baldor, which means things will float in the air for us, but that shouldn't be a good problem of that. Remember, Baldor is the Generation 5 with Rock and Roll Evolution. He can go into Gigalith when you trade him, because you can grab the trades into Golem. Surf number 2 will KO him because the uh, sturdy is off, and that takes down the Baldor. Next up will be Steelix. Steelix, of course, dual type steel and ground. One of the most tankiest Pokemon in the game. It has one of the highest defenses, but it's still weak in the special defense part. Surf, which could have killed him, but he has sturdy as well. He will survive from the dig, and Steelix will go on the ground. You can't hit him now. Maybe surf, he'll miss. He'll dig on me. Light, because Steelix still doesn't have a massive attack power. It's just a massive tank. 
but special attack is his weakness, and we're gonna take care of that with Surf and Steelix. We'll go down. Too bad for Steelix. Come to think of it, I've been standing here in the same spot for the last couple of days too. I guess these hackers doesn't like each other. I think that's a bit funny. Hmm, well maybe it is not. I don't know. I think it's just very funny. All right, let's just continue here. Down the slopes, up here. Go across the bridge. Let's go down here, and this worker he wants to fight, maybe. I work in a cave. Very picturesque, if I do say so myself. Ah. Well, I guess where should it be? Maybe in a I don't know, office building. Ooh, artillery. Generation two. Artillery, the Remoraid Evolution, a pure water type. Can okay, really use surf water for here. I was strength on artillery. Jump. Artillery in the face. We'll survive though. Wing out. Very powerful bind move from uh, artillery. Which is pretty good for being level 50. But I will survive it though. More strength on artillery. I will kill it. Artillery will go down. XP here for Blastoise. And Dimitri has been beaten. You and a Pokemon make quite a picture too. Mm, yeah, I agree. Let's go up here. Go rock smash this one too. Mo probably something in the other side. Rock smash. Nothing there. Nothing here too. Of course, hidden item. The Moonstone. Nice to evolve your Pokemon with a Moonstone, such as uh, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, and the Nidoran male and female. Here we have a Battle Girl. Mm, let's just go across her. Let's crack this boulder too with Rock Smash. So let's go around. What do we find? Goes off. Well, we have to do something about that. Grab a Dusk Stone. Dusk Stone is the same thing as a Moonstone, except it will evolve other type of Pokemon, especially specifically Pokemon of the darker types, like a dark or ghost type. Some will go for Dusk Stones. Let's go up here. We found something here. Nothing. I guess not. Oh, there are hidden items here. If you do want to wonder where hidden items are, just use the item finder you got from. Uh, Earlier, but we don't really need to use it either, so let's just go around here. Oh, stop down. Another black belt. Pia! Oh, tremble as my manly roar echoes throughout this cave. Roar! Manly roar! Haha! <laughs> Macho! Madness! Black belt Gunnar with Toxic Croak. Okay. Toxic Croak, dual type, poison, and fighting. Croak has a whooping four time weakness to your psychic. Now, if you do try a water move on him, get a dry skin, that means he's immune to water. Focus Blast with Miss, which is good for us. So, we want to melt him properly. Let's get in Mew too. Because why not? Mew too for the Toxic Croak. Pressure on Toxic Croak, he will now use the Focus Blast. We'll hit. It won't be very effective because we choose a psychic type and he's resistant to fighting. But poor Toxic Croak though, he won't be liking this though. Here comes the psychic. Toxic Croak, he has a 4 time weakness to uh, psychic and he'll go down pretty quickly. That's a mighty blast for sure. Blast was level 71. The next one will be Sock. Let's just stick to it. Right, Sock next. He's a pure fighting type. Hit him with a uh, move to make this one quick and simple. But he has a sturdy, so he will survive. Here comes a close combat. Powerful fighting move. Not much damage on Mewtwo though, because Mewtwo is resistant to fighting. And the stats will go down for him. We just finish him with a fighting move of his own. Nice stats. Power Sphere. Power up on Sock, and that will kill him. And he goes down. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. 
I beat Black Belt Gunnar. Let's just continue in the cave here. Uh, let's go up uh, here, maybe. A rock smash, maybe something up here, maybe. Of course, there's a wild Pokemon in the rock. Who is it? It's a Graveler. Old form of Geodude. Not interesting fighting him though, so. And we have another Battle Girl as well. Let's fight her. Oh, before that, we have another visitor. It's gonna be another Graveler. That's cool though. We'll just use our blast toys to walk our way through. I think I'll do a little change in my setup because I feel like even though blast toys is fine, I'll do a little change to setup. I think I'll get in Del Fox. Del Fox needs some love too. He was my starter. Let's give him some love. Breathe in, breathe out, deep breaths. Okay, let's battle. Okay, I guess she knows how to do her stuff. It's gonna be Battle Girl Haley. All right. She has, of course, uh, a cool Pokemon of her own. Medicham, Medicham dual type, psychic and fighting. Which means the uh, psychic mode will not do super effective damage here. So I'm just gonna go with flamethrower instead. Burn it up. The level difference makes it so the flamethrower does enough damage to kill it in a single hit. That looks get a good amount of XP here. Next up will be Holucha. Holucha, of course, dual type fighting and flying. The rest are Pokemon. So Holucha, I'm gonna go with Psychic. Because it's weak to Psychic. It's blasting quickly. It's super effective. And that's gonna KO the Holucha. So much trouble I have with Holucha in the past. But Max and now it's just gonna be creamed down with a Psychic. Breathe in, breathe out, deep breaths. Thank you for the battle. Ah. I like people who are a bit more generous in their battling style. Let's go down here, maybe. Ah, here we have something. An elixir! You always need to have elixir. Remember, elixir stores uh, all uh, moves PP by 10. Max elixir restores all PP moves to max, which is the best item to use. Let's see what we have down here. Another item. A full heal. Very useful for status healing in case you don't have like antidote, paralyzed heal, just want to use something for everything. Then the thing you want to use, of course, is going to be the all great stuff of the full heal. Alright, um, let's go over here. Oh, I see a TM here. I want to get that TM. Let's go grab it. Get it over to go around the intersection here. Let's break this rock. To find ourselves a cool TM. Not just any TM, it's actually pretty good. It's TM number 30, Shadow Ball. Which is a very powerful ghost special attack move. In my opinion, it's a very good psychic killer. And a good generally move. Just don't use it against a normal type because it won't even hit it. Okay, that was pretty awesome. Let's go east here now. Here we have a dual battle with some Pokemon Rangers. We're a pair of wanderers on a journey through Kalos with our trusty Pokemon. One of our favorite pastimes is the battle with trainers we encounter on our journey. Pokemon like treasure jewels drew through the land. It's in battle where they truly get a chance to shine. Hmm, yeah, I like it. So, the last dual battle of X and Y will be against Rangers Fern and Lee, with Nido King and Nido Queen. Oh boy. Both of them are of the psychic type, I mean of the poison type, and both of them are of the ground type. So if you have a surf, you can take them out pretty quickly. Psychic, of course, super effective as well as both. So let's take out the Queen with Psychic. Xerneas can go Moonblast on the other King. But remember, poison are resistant to Fairy though. Psychic on the other Queen. One hit KO on the other Queen, take me down. as well. Xerneas is level 73. That's a 
Moonblast on either King. He's resistant to it, of course, because it's a, uh, it's a ground type or poison type. Our power does good damage here against Tail Fox, but not enough to KO it though. The flamethrower on either King, which is use a Mega Horn as well. Flamethrower on the King. Should be enough to KO it. We'll go down. Good XP here, and now Delphox is 73 as well. And we beat Rangers Fern and Lee. Your Pokemon shine more bright than any jewel I've seen. You look like you've been to quite a few places in Kalos. Well, yeah, I've been to quite a few places. I can't say I've been everywhere. Except this place was the last stop on my journey. Huh, okay, that was a pretty good battle. Um, let's go west. To get another item. It'll be the iron plate. Good thing to use for increasing your steel type damage. And after that, we're gonna go east and head up the stairs. And then we go north here to fight another worker. So don't change there's nothing here to miss. No. Nope. By this worker here. Hey, hey, can't you see I'm working here? Uh, are you? Oh, I didn't see. Sorry. Worker Yusuf. With Probo Pass. Probo Pass, which is a dual type steel and rock type. It has a four time weakness to, um, to fighting, but it also no longer has a resistance to fire. Still pretty tanky though. Lock on from uh, Power Pass, which means this next move will really hit. Steel and, f and Rock means that you no longer have a weakness to uh, fire, because Rock is resistant to fire, but still is weak to fire. So flame Power times 2, tanky Power Pass will go down. Oh no, oh no! I beg it back to work now. Yeah, I guess you need to. All right. We still have more things we can collect in here, can't we? Oh, speaking of which, we have another wild Pokemon appearing from above. Here we have another Ariados. Ariados are pretty naughty Pokemon. We have to fight them again. That's a fine though. Let's just escape from this battle quickly before we're getting ourselves beaten up. And we have a Reaper Cloth, which is a very cool item to have. I'm wondering what the Reaper Cloth does, though. It's a special item. It's one of the items you need to evolve Dusk Clops to into Dusk Noir. Generation 3 Pokemon Dusk Clops can evolve to Dusk Noir from Generation 4. And you need to have that item as a hold item and trade it to become a Dusk Noir. Remember that when you trade it, the Reaper Cloth will be gone, so it only has a one-time usage. Then we go up here, and now we're on a cool special intersection. What this intersection does though, we will see about it though. Because next episode guys, it's the season finale! We're gonna go head off against a very special Pokemon if this generation. Who it is, you'll find out next time. It has something to do with the letter Z. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. And that's going to be it for now. See you guys next time as my story of Pokemon X continues for one more episode. Because next time, it is the season finale of Pokemon X.